I guess we can get a little bit more toughness and it probably won't hurt anything. Yeah, there we go. That's good. Now we're fat! Look how fat we are. We're like big and thick. Just th thick. Like a milkshake. We're built like a giant. Okay, never mind. Um, alright, uh, Guildmaster, what's up with the Guildmaster? Scythe is waiting for you. Okay, you're just reminding me what I'm supposed to do already. Scythe is waiting for me in the, 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 the Snowspire Village. Yeah. Okay. Now this here oracle works funny ways. We have to dance for him. And after we dance for him, he'll tell us cool things. It's different every time. I think. I don't remember. You have uncovered the glyphs. Very good. It is time we awoke the oracle from its deathly slumber. Oh, great oracle, grant us the knowledge we seek. What evil rises in this land? The prophecy is fulfilled. The guildsman is here. You follow the footsteps of the one who bore the mask you carry. Jack of Blades has awakened the dormant power of the summoners. He has used the blood of your family to feed his new shell beyond the Bronze Gate. But now his soul mask is in your hands. You must use it to feed the Archon's shrine and open the gate. Go now and face your destiny. So Jack has cheated death once more. Never have we encountered a being like him. I do not envy you. The Bronze Gate has long been a symbol of doom in this land. Return to Briar Rose at the Shrine. Perhaps she can tell you how to use Jack's soul mask. I must return to the guild. May fate smile on you. To interact with the Oracle, use one of the four glyph expressions in the center of the podium. Now, um, to put something in perspective for you, just in case you missed it, we, um, hang on a second. Let me tell Have you thing. heard? I only wish, what are you? Okay, we, we, we got all these expressions, and we need to actually, it's really stupid, we need to put them on, I think, buttons. Uh, Young man, there's no need to feel down. I said, young man, put yourself in the ground. You can stay there. It's fun to stay at the Y M C A. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's the reason there are those letters. I don't remember the song <laughs> all that well, but. For some reason, Peter Molyneux decided to make the giant oracle machine that tells you the plot of the end of the game a giant reference to the YMCA. I know you did it on you did it on purpose, Peter. You've done stupider shit. You put a brothel in this game for absolutely no reason. Serves no purpose. Of course, of course, you would put a reference to the YMCA in as part of the canon storyline just shoehorned in forcibly make me go through a goddamn necropolis to find all the shit to power the stupid beast okay i'm getting really angry now so let's just do the dance and ask it some questions how's that sound good let's do it oh we gotta stand in the center of the fucking yeah. ah the sign of yeron you wish to know more about the people of albion and beyond Hmm, let's see. Let's discuss Whisper. Yeah! The people of Albion can be fickle in their affections, and Whisper's inglorious defeat in the arena stripped her of any repute she may have once possessed. For many, she would never grow out of the immense shadow of her brother, Thunder. And so she left our shores and set out for the distant homeland she had last seen as a child. 
the sea journey was once again beset with difficulties, and her ship was boarded by pirates. None of them survived. She arrived at shore she barely remembered, with nothing but her own strength. Yet now, she is beloved as a true hero among her own people. Really good to know. Okay, let's uh, do... Yeah. The Sign of Morik. I shall reveal to you the legends of this world. I shall tell you about demon doors. Woo! The life of a rock endowed with consciousness is never easy. But we all have a single purpose for which we were created. Mine is to collect stories, to be a keeper of ancient secrets past, and foreteller of terrible events future. That of demon doors is to safeguard the riches that lie behind them, and to invent games and riddles to test those who seek them. Okay, um, let's do see. The Sign of Calran. You seek the law of beasts and fiends. Ah, it's been so long since I told anyone about... Balverines. <coughs> the first Balverine was born of the bite of a creature far more terrible, the Balvorn, who dwelt upon this world when gods and demons were still the primary force. When men first started to walk amongst them, the Balvorn would feast on the flesh of thousands at a time. Only once did a human survive such an attack. He became the first Balverine, and his curse has survived to this day. Uh, and the last one. Ah, yes, the sign of Abisto. The history of the land is yours to hear. Hmm, let's see. Let's discuss the Archon. This age understands nothing of the old kingdom. Archon is a name that has passed down many generations, a lineage of powerful kings united by a unique bloodline. And by possession of the sword of Aeonis, when Jack found it, it was a ghost of the weapon it once was. And the name of Archon has become so detached from the realities of those kings that it is meaningless among the modern men. But the first Archon still casts his shadow in this world, a world that would not even exist had he not wrested it from the gods it belonged to before the age of man. Okay. So basically we have a giant exposition shouting um, demon door type thing that you can just keep asking questions to and he'll tell you all kinds of backstory in the most boring monotone voice in the world you know what I'm really gonna have to play Demon Souls after this or Dark Souls sorry I haven't played Demon Souls we're gonna play Dark Souls after this game I need a palate cleanser just like bear with hey, me okay glad you're still with us these inscriptions are fascinating you know Everything indicates that Jack's new form will emerge from behind the Bronze Gate, and this structure is the key to opening it. But it looks like it'll take the souls of three heroes to activate the mechanism. These things are never simple, are they? It doesn't want just any heroes either. The first instruction calls for the King of the Arena, no less. I suppose you could chop your own head off, but then there'd be no one for me to order around, would there? Why don't you pay Thunder a visit? He knows the arena inside and out. I've checked with the guild, and they say he's a knothole glade. You've still got Jack's mask, haven't you? Good. You'll need it to trap the souls. I still can't believe he might not be dead. Anyway, I better start researching the second inscription. Okay, knothole glade. Yes, little hero, I'm back, and our business is not quite finished. Oh, shut the fuck up! You took my. I don't want to listen to your shit, asshole. How many centuries I don't. Hey, hey. Looking... your worst voice actor ever. Go away, stupid dragon. Voice actor sounds like a dragon. Now look, I won't tell you again. We don't need a hero. For the first time in years, we aren't being attacked, sieged, or kidnapped by anything. Now leave us alone. You? <laughs> Briar Rose said you would come. I will tell you what I know. If it will get you out of my sight. We were both once called Kings of the Arena. But there have been many heroes in the past who have claimed that name. You should search in the bloody dust of the arena itself. They say the souls of past champions haunt it, resting in the place of their greatest achievement. Now go, unless you're here to take my soul. You've taken everything else. Why go all the way to the arena? You have a perfectly good soul right in front of you. Nah. I don't want to kill Thunder. I have really peed on his life so far. Especially because Jack's all like, Why don't you kill him? <laughs> Subtle mind boogity boogity. So I guess we're gonna go to the arena. 